Well, you, no, you were like, I'm not I thought it was Matt. They're all itching to get in. Gotta love it. We have six training sessions until Eclipse. Hopefully none of those get rained out. Um, and again, Eclipse is gonna be better than St. Louis Scott Gallagher, all right? We learn anything from game one. You tell me, what did we learn in game one? We gotta play quicker. We gotta play quicker, so. We have to up our training intensity. The only way you get used to playing quicker is if you're forced to get to play quicker here. Okay. We have to collectively agree that we need to up our training intensity right now. You all agree that. Mickey, hold the ball and listen. You guys all agree with that? Yeah. Yes or no? Yeah. You can tell me I'm wrong, because you'll be wrong, but you can tell me I'm wrong, and then we can have a dialogue about it. Okay, but I'm right. We have to train quicker, more intense, so that when we step in a game, we're not peeing our pants nervous. Okay, what else can we learn from that game? Knowing what you're going to do before you get the ball. That's how you play quick, right? Knowing what your options are before you get the ball. Ladies, you cannot get the ball and have them pressure on you like this and then think about, try to think about what you're going to do. Can't happen. I got to know that Bean's Ray's in her hand, that Izzy's got the camera, that Audrey's coming in late. Before I, I got to know all that stuff before I get the ball. Hey, do you understand what I just said? I got to know all that before I get the ball. So I know what my options are, and then I can evaluate things from there. You understand? Okay, what else? Yeah, set pieces. Uh, Got to be on the same page as the set pieces. That's, like I said, that's part on me. We, I only practiced on the right side of the goal. Savvy did exactly what we did at training. She went to the side that she exactly did in training. So part of that's on me. I'll take responsibility for that, and we'll work to get better. But like Mickey said, she didn't know what to do. Pay attention in training. You have to pay attention in training. You never know when you get called upon to do whatever. You might get called upon to do a snipper. You might get called upon to do a far post dummy. You might get called upon to do a sock. You have no idea what's going on. Well, we all have no idea what's going on. What's the other thing that I said that we can learn from that free kick? Wait till everyone's ready? Sure. Or if... Bing, bing, bing. Okay, make your own decisions out there. Even though I call something, if it's not on, do something else. Use your brain. Don't be a robot and do what Coach Mark says all the time. You understand? Make your own decisions. If you're wrong, we'll talk about it later. Okay? Game two, anything, what are the things that we can learn about in game two? Uh, so, since we tied the, the first two, it doesn't make you just give up on the second Okay. Like, you got to, don't try harder. Okay, you guys understand that? We have to bring our intensity every game. Doesn't matter if we're playing a first team, a third team, whatever. They knew they had to be up for the game. We knew we were playing a second team. We got to. Everything that's done is done. We got to take every game the same, whether it's Eclipse or whether we're playing the, the 2017s over there, or whatever that is. We, think. we come out and we come out and we crush four-year-olds until the game's in hand, and then we relax. We have to have that mentality, whatever we do. Okay. What else can we learn from that game? Getting the ball up into the danger area. Okay. When we need to try to get a goal, getting the ball up in the danger. What else? Tony. Okay, yes, we have to work, continue to work on throwing so we don't give cheap giveaways. Bean? Um, at the end of the game, we need to put in there. Okay, hey, that's very good. I'm going to talk about that in a second. But the game is never over until when? Until it's over, yeah. It's never over. If we're down a goal and there's one minute left, it's never over. Coach Payton scored with two seconds left on the clock in the section final against Stillwater in high school in overtime to send us a penalty kick. Two seconds left on the clock, she scored. 
it was down in our box with 18 seconds left. And I was like, game over. Clearing. Emily Heslin, stud, MTA player, gopher player. Over the ball to Peyton, breakaway. I look at the clock, nine, eight, Peyton's going on her breakaway. Six, five, she shoots. And it was a horrible shot, but it went a little over the keeper, three, and it's dribbling, two, in the goal. Spaz City, everybody. Spaz City, jumping around. We lost some penalty kicks, but we'll talk about that later. We'll talk about that later. Okay? Never over till it's over. And again, what Bean said is when we're trying to kill the game and we've won, or we, we're ahead, we're trying to put the ball as far away from our goal as we can. We don't have to complete passes, Mackie. So when Mackie asks, what are we doing? What's a corner? It means put the ball in that corner of the field, hold up back in our half, let them have to come 100 yards to the goal. You don't, you don't have to complete passes, get the ball, put it in the corner. You understand? If you win the ball in the corner, hold it. Just hold it there. Make them kick it out. Oh, we'll take a throw in. Maddie's going to post up. I'm going to give it to Maddie, and Maddie's going to shield it and hold it. We're not trying to score goals. We scored our goal, ladies, because we took two of our best headers, and we took them out of defense, and we put them in the goal, or put them up on the box. Two of our most aggressive headers on the ball, Money and Gwen. All right, so if you see Money and Gwen going up, we need players to hold. You understand? And again, it's all pure attitude. We don't get that goal unless Money's steaming in there for the ball and doesn't go like this, but takes it off the face and puts it in the goal. All right? So again, happy about the weekend. Could have won both. Honestly, could have won both. I think Sienna tips the scale for us. If she's on the field, I think we win the first game. That's my gut. Okay, that doesn't mean we're all about one player, but that gives us a big lift. All right, but so you gutted it out, gutsy performances. Hope you guys had fun in the hotel. Looked like you guys are having a blast in the hotel. Looked super fun. Um, that's what it's, honestly, that's what it's all about. You may not, re no one may remember the game score, but you'll remember choking Audrey and Mackie in the hotel. You'll remember Trippy hiding under the table and clawing uh, Gwen's leg and Gwen freaking out. And Santa Claus. Savvy, you'll, you'll remember Savvy. You'll remember Monkey. Sammy. 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 Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, I don't even know. know. So don't All right, hey, watch. Here's what we're going to do. A little bit of aerial ball control, a little bit of long ball, and then we're going to play. Okay, so watch. Uh, Kendall, ball to me. Okay, watch. You're just going to find an area out here. Talk with someone, that's fine. Don't distract them. Don't distract them. Work. Okay? Work. Again, it's much easier to play the ball when it's on the ground than it is to try to play when it's bouncing up in the air. Okay? Inside of the foot sweep trap. Bounce. Turn and go. Just relax. Uh, just relax. Okay, watch. Watch. Bounce. Sweep it across. All right? As you turn, that leg's got to be angled down, so when it bounces, it hits off that angle and goes forward. And look, I'm facing this way, and the ball is going almost behind me. Almost behind me. Just relax, left and right foot, find some space out in this field, go. Wait, wait, what? Hi, Artie. Wait, wait. I thought we were doing, okay. new to most of you? No. This isn't new? Maddie, go. Okay. Is that good or not good? Not, not great. She's facing this way. It maybe went that way. And what happened after she touched it? It bounced. She, it, rolled it bounced. So if this is new to most of you, Liv, clown show, if this is new to most of you, why in the world would you throw the ball up like that? Be smart. Head height. Get used to it. Relax. Get better at it. Serve it up a little higher. Get used to it. Go. Good. Let it bounce first, Austin.
son. I'm never kicking at it with my foot. Okay? My body, watch. And watch my leg. My body's like this. I'm actually just turning and my whole body is taking the ball with the touch. I'm not swinging at it. All I'm doing is take, turning it and using the power, the pace of my turn to take the ball away so it's not kicked. Okay, go. There you go, Bean. Right idea. Just get toe up, ankle lock. Toe up. That was better, Maddie. That was better, Glenn. It's gotta be more. Okay, more Emma. It's gotta be more angle. Your shin's gotta be more angle to the ground. Bend your knee a little bit. Good, more angle, Tony. You're just kind of straight up. It's gotta be more angle. There you go. That's it right there. That's good. More angle, Maddie. And toe up, toe up, toe up. Yep, toe up, angle down. Kind of more angle. That's kind of straight up. You know what I'm saying? More over. There you go. Body run through. Again, just like my shin, just like the inside, come closer. Just like the inside of the foot sweep trap, my shin's angled over the ball. Now my upper body's got to be angled over the ball. Okay? It's going to bounce up into my body, down on the ground, twice. Watch again. Watch again. It, I don't let it bounce and then chest it. It bounces, my, bo my body's covering it, hits my chest, and goes down. Again, we're always trying to get the ball to the ground. Watch again. Okay, there's the bounce, body run through. Think about why, it, why it's called that. It's not body stand still. It's body run through. Okay, go. You gotta bounce up into your body. Good, Seth. Good, Maddie. There you go, Mac. Good, Tony, lean over it so it hits your stomach or chest and goes down. Cover that ball. Lean over it on. Nope. A little late. Because that went up and started to come down and then you hit it. It's got to go up into your body as you're running through it. Almost a little late, Matthew. Up in your body as you run through it. There you go. Good now, right idea. Tony. 
everybody don't extend the way for it. You gotta hop into it. There you go. Side of the foot. Okay, there's the little laces, killing the laces, getting it on the ground. Obviously, hey, when we talk about thigh juggling, you're hitting the ball up in the air with your thigh. Hey, but when we're controlling the ball, thigh comes up and then comes down so that you can play. Same with the chest trap, same with the head control. Everything's got to be given. 